Chris, in a sense, this is a classic case where the, the, the rustic uh, d d d international law and international conventions are, to quote the title of your book back at you, on trial. What's your take? Well, I think it's very straightforward. This court has absolutely no legitimacy. It's a court that's been set up by uh, Russian-backed uh, separatists within the uh, territorial jurisdiction of the uh, Republic of Ukraine, um, and uh, it therefore has no more jurisdiction uh, than if I were to choose to set up a court at the cricket club where I happen to be at the moment and start handing out uh, pen penalties and death sentences. Uh, they, they, there is no legitimacy to the verdict, and in fact, it doesn't matter from legal purposes whether or not they are mercenaries or were mercenaries or whether they were serving legitimately with the Ukrainian armed forces uh, because, as I say, the court itself has no jurisdiction. Um, uh, now, the fact that they have, as I understand it, been serving with the Ukrainian military, uh, one in the Marines and one in another branch of the Ukrainian armed forces for some years, uh, predating the Russian invasion, uh, is important. It's significant in some ways, but it's not significant to whether or not this court has legitimacy in imposing the death penalty or anything else. And just so that folk are crystal clear on that point, you're the lawyer, not me, I'm the mere journalist. That is because this, this state, the Donetsk People's Republic, has no status internationally. It's not recognised by the United Nations or any other country other than Russia. No, absolutely. As I say, I mean, I know it's a ridiculous example, but but I mean, people have uh, historically declared independence over all sorts of territories, uh, unless and until the international community <coughs> recognise those territories as independent nations, uh, then they can't act in the in the way that states can act, which is to impose uh, sentences and to set up courts and, and and constitutions and systems of justice. The truth of it is, there isn't a constitution for this republic because it's not a real country. So uh, these men really should be treated as prisoners of war. They should be treated humanely and if they are executed it will be an utter outrage and i really hope that everybody in the international community will do everything they can to stop that happening